That shot. Oh, oh. I love it. <laughs> Welcome back to another Real Chums trailer reaction and discussion. Today we have The Joker, Folia de. Part 2. <laughs> um, you, <laughs> Folia de. Folia de. Guys, we're not going to admit how long we, we need to say that. Look, we are a pair of Mexicans that just aren't going to take the time to. We. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can say in French is Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Je m'appelle Daniel. I can, uh, no, I, don't, I can't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> I won't even try. Um, okay, trailer's out. This is exciting. You have not, not seen, seen Joker. Joker. I, uh, I, I've seen it once. And I, I just, it, yeah. I just couldn't, I just, it's, it's heavy, obviously. Yeah, it's heavy. Uh, I saw it opening night. It's interesting because, and maybe we'll do an episode on it for the podcast. Mm -hmm. By the way, podcast every Tuesday. Like, subscribe, uh, you'll get notified. But, um, it's Shout out to everybody who has subscribed. Yes. Uh, but it's interesting, though, like, I've heard people's, like, viewing experience in theaters is very different to, like, my theater. Like, ours, no one, there are some, I want to spoil you it know for what? you. Let's just, let's just watch Let's it. watch this and let's discuss it. I'm in Joaquin Phoenix, man. That's so skinny again. So skinny. Oh. That's a talent. for us today. Oh. We use music to make us whole. To balance the fractures within ourselves. There's oh dude, the, the cinematography in the first one I know yeah. it's like okay. breakdowns upon breakdowns. <laughs> I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Oh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Chased by another Joker. Huh. Joker and Harvey. Toes. What's changed? That's the year. Dude, that's the costume of the year, dude. Yeah. I'll tell yeah. you what's changed. We're not alone anymore. Oh. That's what we should be talking about. <laughs> October. October. Whoa. <sighs> I'm gonna watch it tonight. I wanna watch it tonight. And then I'm gonna watch it until I I mean I don't know why I haven't watched the movie. I think I think part of it is like I kind of there's I think I've mentioned this in the past that there's this window that I like to see movies in theaters. Uh -huh. And if I miss that window. I kind of like the 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 excitement, the, ma the, magic, the, the magic. magic of that thing. I feel like I've lost it, you and lost I'm like, it. I'm like, I feel like, like I. It's not that I'm doing a disservice to. Like I feel like, I like people have this special connection or not a connection. Yeah. Like it's just it's one or the other, right? You either and if you land in that middle, it's because like the movie was probably okay, right? And it was just oh, a good yeah. time, right? It's family movie or whatever. But those movies that they get talked about that have the polarization that divide people those are moments are of theater of theater experiences that that you have to be there for yes and then when you're not part of that i don't know i feel like you, I, I, i'm intruding yeah okay you're missing out as well that's that that was my experience with dune for the longest time i was like i'm going to go and watch it yeah i have hbo max and i can yeah. hit play but i'm not going to i'm gonna go see it in theaters 
I never did it, and I didn't get around to seeing it until like maybe a year and a half ago, like yeah. <laughs> last year. Um, so I totally get that. But this looks great. This, this looks fun. Well, this looks. Todd yes. Phillips did, did a phenomenal job. I'm, uh, I'm trying to remember who the cinematographer was on oh. Joker. The story that he took, and I, I know a lot of people got divided on well, how does Batman play into this, Bruce Wayne, the twist that happens, which I won't tell you about. Like, I think I really enjoyed the movie because uh, as, a, as a character study on mental illness, but as well the overall story that had of a society that's crumbling that has set aside its citizens which is a big story in, in Joker. I'm curious what the overarching story will be here because this just seems more of, of two individuals that are just... Yeah, it, it feels almost as if they've said, like, Joker is such an intriguing character. What if we found a story that is about him in, a, in this world that we are, are is so beloved? And let's, like you said, like let's take a character journey. And in this one, they're bringing the, the, the iconic couple. Yeah. And... The fact that like they are whole together, um, or that they they feed to each other for the bad and the good, that I think will be really intriguing because we don't. I mean, obviously, com- comics we get it from the the hero's perspective. We're not yeah, yeah. we're not you know we for I mean for for generation we this is not canon um, uh, Joker history, right, but right. but that's the thing about that's the beauty of like cinema that we we can we already identify with the Joker. We, mm-hmm. I mean, people if people. Didn't know the Joker from the comics. They they fell in love with him from, you know, um, uh, from Batman eighty nine. Yeah. Uh, with uh, man, I just forgot his name. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. I was like Nicholson. Was What's his first name? It was right there. Yeah. Um. So Jack Nicholson to Heath Ledger, um, even David <laughs> Jared Leto, who didn't have a really, but he had a very iconic there's, look. There's a fan base there somewhere for that for that <laughs> Joker. There is, and so. <laughs> Yeah, Lawrence Sher was the the cinematographer. Okay, Lawrence Sher, what is it? He uh, so Lawrence Sher also did uh, is Hangover, The Hangover. That's right, because he uh, and Todd Godzilla. Phillips. Todd Phillips brought him from from The Hangover. That's right. And Black, he was the director for Black Adam. I just it's I, I love the cinematography in the first one. There's a lot of symbolism in it. Just the framing, we're seeing it here. I also you kind of touched on this. This is I mean this isn't canon. This is just. This is just another, once again, another character study of two individuals who, as the title says, you know, folie a deux, it's a, it's a psychosis of two individuals with their mental disorder, yeah. right? Um, a dual psychosis. And, and it's just, who knows what's real? Mm. I love that idea. Like, mm. we've, we've been told, right, that this is a musical. And, and I hope that these, that it's left very ambiguous to what's real and what's yeah. not. And these individuals who are having this psychosis together through music, I think it's just it's 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 fun, it's new, and I'm 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 all down for it. It's fun and new. Yeah, I think I think that that's a great way to summarize it. Um, so let us know your thoughts. Are you excited for this film? Are you where did you land on the original Joker? Were you for it or you were you against it? Let us know in the comments below. We look forward to reading them. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>